Hello and welcome back to YYC Business Speaks. Today we're speaking with Sharare and she owns an art supply store, which she will tell us more about as we go through this conversation. Hi, Sharare. Hi. How are we doing? I'm good. I'm good. It's snowing and cold. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's not quite over for the winter yet. No, I was hoping that it's going to be summer, but no way. Yeah. It just starts snowing again this morning. Exactly. All right. Tell me about your business. Actually, I have uh, um, art supply store in Cochrane and the name of the store is Final Touch Art Supply Store and I just sell, provide everything for artists like pen, pencil, brush, colors, paint, everything that you can imagine and sometimes my customers are kids because they like girls, especially girls, they like painting and coloring and yeah, it's fun. It's really fun. It's a good job. Cool. How long have you been in business? I started that in 2018. It's almost three years. Wow. That's awesome. I'm curious. What had you get into creating this art supply store? Uh, it's a very good question because I'm always in art from my childhood. I was always doing something related to art, but I didn't know that I'm an artist. And I was a psychologist, I was interior designer, I was a teacher, I was, I was always somehow connected to my soul. And in 2016, I decided to paint. And then I started painting and I became, became an artist. So I was in a gallery a studio that they didn't have supply store. In Cochrane, there is no art supply store. And then I went to the manager and I said, the owner, and I said, how about I rent a part of your gallery studio and bring um, art supply for the students and people in Cochrane. And she was okay with that. And we started business together. Uh, that last three years, I have been the happiest because I have a good partner in job and I love my job and it's great. It's great. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. It's really cool when things work out like that. You know, it's not yeah. something that you would have expected to happen, but then you no, got to make it happen. Not really. And from there, I realized because I'm always in the gym and I'm always doing workout. I told myself if I can, if I can create art supply store and be an artist, why I cannot be a personal trainer nutrition too. Yeah. So I'm chasing my dreams. That's amazing. Yeah. More people should be doing that, right? Looking at what they're interested in and just going yeah. after it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Doesn't it doesn't have that much money, but it brings me happiness. Yeah, totally. Okay, do you have a target client or like who are your best customers at the, your art supply? Definitely store? people who love art. Uh, I'm connected to the studio. So the studio has students. Those students are my clients. And as I told you, the kids are my clients. And honestly, everybody can be my client. The nature is a beauty. We are having beauty and art inside. So if you can see yourself as an artist, even as a more woman, if you wake up in the morning, put yourself together, think about which color you have to choose for your clothes, which makeup you have to wear, it's a kind of art. We are all artists. So I think everybody can be my client. Yeah, that's a good point. Extrapolating, like, you know, dealing with the colors and the different creative yeah. aspects and yeah. yeah, really bringing it out. Yeah. It's a cool perspective. It what's, is. The, what's the greatest impact the pandemic has had on your business? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I lost my clients because mm -hmm. we had to close down and the client couldn't come out and there was this restriction and rules and regulations and the store was closed. It drives me nuts because I couldn't do anything. I couldn't work. Right. How long were you closed for? I was closed since the beginning of the um, pandemic. Mm -hmm. There was a couple of months that we could do the curbside, okay. which, which was not bad. And then after that, we had to close down again and we opened... I opened last month, but the studio, which my clients are there, they opened last week. Okay. I'm starting again. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so what are one or two actions that you've taken that have made a difference then over the past year? Uh, during the pandemic, I think that it makes a difference. During the pandemic, when we started the curbside, that was a relief. And uh, we started to I started to introduce myself in Facebook and Instagram, and we have Facebook page names, Finite, Final Touch Art Supply Store and Studio. So I started to introduce myself there and telling them, hey, I'm here, come here, pick up. You can do that. You can paint at home. You don't need to stay home bored. And uh, the client starts coming back and taking some supplies to go home and paint. The other things that we did was, uh, I um, was in the radio, Cochrane radio, telling people that I'm here mm -hmm. and I'm open and we have curbside and we are supporting you. And the other things that we did is the owner of the studio uh, started to paint live mm -hmm. and when people are painting live through zoom they need supplies so they came to me to get the colors that they want for the next zoom painting wow that's cool so you got yourself on social media and then you created this yeah. partnership to yeah. boost both your businesses yeah that's really awesome Okay, good. It's been said that smart people learn from their mistakes and wise people learn from the mistakes of others. So what are one or two mistakes that you've made along the way that entrepreneurs can learn from? I can tell you one of the biggest mistakes I did was um, oh, well, when I started, I was excited and I didn't have enough information to be a, to run my own business. What I did was buying lots of supplies mm -hmm. and stacking them instead of uh, buying the things that I can start up with and see what the client need. And then from there, I start my orders. So I have a stack of the items that they are not really interesting for uh, my clients, my customers, but they are there. Mm -hmm. So that was one of my mis biggest mistake. Yeah. And the other one was, um, there is no other one. <laughs> That's just the biggest one. Yeah. Making sure you meet the desires of the clients before you go out and buy a yeah. whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. 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 That's really important, actually. It's a really good lesson. Yeah. Um, where can people find you? I'm in Cochrane. And the address is just give me a second. <laughs> I was not ready for that. <laughs> uh, it is uh, number 10. Uh -huh. 118 First Avenue West Cochrane. We are near those tasty ice cream shop. The tasty ice cream yeah, shop? Yeah, there is a very famous ice cream shop. What did names, Dania? The ice cream shop. McCain's. Oh, you're right by McCain's. Yeah. And okay. there's a, yeah, that's where, where we are. We have uh, art supplies. We have classes, we will have paint nights, and if we are a group that we are working together and it's fun, it mm -hmm. is really fun. It's working and it's fun. Right, okay, Every good. day I believe that my, one of my blessing is that I'm working in this field. Mm. Yeah, okay, and then you said you're on social media, so you're on Facebook, and then yeah. are you anywhere else on social media? Uh, I have my own page in Instagram, which in it is uh, Sharoren Nurizadeh. Okay. But uh, yeah, Sherry, it is SherryNuriArt.com. It is in, in Instagram and uh, it is in Facebook. Okay. But I have uh, our group is in Facebook names, Final Touch Art Studio slash uh, Art Supply Store. Okay, and then you have a website as well? Uh, it is sherrynuriart.com. Okay, got it. Okay, just so I can capture all that when this video yeah. goes out. The Kate, best way of finding me is final, going to the Facebook Final Touch Art uh, Gallery, and my phone number is 403-619-6788.
Okay, perfect. Very good. Thanks, Sharari. Is there anything that you'd like to offer our viewers? Uh, if anybody, any customers comes and mention that uh, they are coming from the interview, I'm going to give them 10% discount. Okay, awesome. Thanks. So 10% off if they come visit you at the yeah. Final Touch Art Supply Store. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, one last question. What is most inspiring to you today? Uh, that I have, I can work again. I can come to the store and have my clients. That's perfect. And the weather is getting better. One more thing. I can give you the landline number and everybody who wants to come here or have any question, they can call the landline. I will answer and I give them the answer that they want. The landline is 403-851-7351. Okay, perfect. Sounds good. Uh, well, that's all I have for the questions today, Shari. Thank you for being on this interview and telling us a little bit more about your art supply store. It's really cool. It was my pleasure talking to you. Do you have any final words before we end this? Enjoy your life. It's too short. <laughs> Great final words. Thanks, Shari. Take care. Bye.